hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making coconut rice and yes I got all dressed for you guys so if you think I'm looking pink please comment down below and let's get cooking it's Easter Sunday and so we decided to make coconut rice with some chicken you know so here we have coconut powder we have coconut oil we have coconut milk also and then we're putting in um, chicken chunks you can put whatever you feel like putting we're also putting in some mushrooms as you can see here um, there is also ginger and garlic if you are a fan please put that in it gives it a nice taste there's onions and so here we just put in our coconut oil and let it get hot and then pour in your onions you don't have to put this amount of onions but if you're like me then put it in <laughs> so you put in your onions and then you start to put in your um chopped garlic and so um like i said if you're a fan put in your garlic if you're not you can avoid that this is not compulsory i'm heating it in so that you know nothing gets wasted and then you chop in your um your ginger and then stock water mind you you do not have to have stock water we had some and so we used it you can just spice your water properly and then you add in your water um, please remember I would like you to know that it's better to put little water than too much water and then you can add on later on so please put little water now you have your coconut powder as I showed you earlier on you just add your coconut powder you know your girl is very economical and so here I'm rinsing the um, nylon so that every single coconut powder goes into the dish you know nothing shall be wasted during this season nothing <laughs> nothing at all and so we go ahead and just stir that in i want the um stock water to dissolve and melt it's been frozen so you can if you obviously don't have frozen stock water you just stir it in and it doesn't take this amount of time so next we put our thyme um you can put whatever quantity you like but just make sure not too much um you can see the quantity i'm using if i can zoom in yes properly and so next you also put in your curry because we want it a little yellowish not not so not like fried rice but just a little and for the taste that curry gives it so we've put in the curry right now um next we're going to put bay leaf i don't know if you like bay leaf but i like bay leaf so put it in it gives it this unique taste just like when you put it in um jello fries and so i'm i'm stirring that thing I'm, in fact the part of me wants to mash it and then i add in my pepper because i like pepper so that's chopped rodo rodo what's the english name for rodo <laughs> i don't know but pepper sha rodo or chili hmm, maybe it's called chili and so just stir that in also um because i use stock water i'm just going to use the amount of maggi because well this stock water is already really tasty so you can add in more than that now i put this is um dry pepper your girl likes pepe and yoruba is in our blood and so i just put in because i realized that that pepe wasn't doing it for me and look at the water looking sumptuous already and then i put um that is um white pepe um i don't know it gives it this taste just like black pepe for me but you do not have to put it if you do not have it and so we're just going to bring this to a boil um i'm just zooming in so you can see how lush the water looks so now we rinse our rice um you can rinse it as many times as you want to but just make sure that your rice is properly washed and clean and so once you bring this to a boil you include you add in your rice just please be careful to stay back i don't know if it's on my leg it's splashed on me so i'm using 
I'm also using prawns and so here I'm having my prawns my chicken chunks I didn't put it yet my chicken chunks that's just been removed from the can you can use fresh chicken also I also have sausages that has been chopped nicely you know one this rich and yummy and so I um, please remember to continuously check your rice so it doesn't Bun and make making sure that the water in it is enough to cook the rice through and so here I'm just stirring it again to make sure and to be taste <laughs> because I like to taste that's one thing about me so cover it up and just allow it to cook be very patient don't be in a hurry so here I decided to check the rice again as you can see the water is already drying up because well the rice is cooking and so I'm going to reduce the fire underneath now i can include my prawns mind you please wash your prawns my prawns were already washed and all the dirt removed then i add in the um sausages and just stir that up together then i would add my chicken chunks i want this to be stirred so i don't break my chicken chunks yeah and so i add my chicken chunks right now like i said you can use um regular chicken just boil and chop but this is just easier for me and i can be lazy so <laughs> this goes well for me i stir that again and just look at it already are you guys celebrating because this was really good so i added in my um mixed veg when the rice was almost done so i don't overcook the mixed veg and now this is the final result guys look at it you can eat it through your screen or you can just go ahead and make it and so that's it with my smoked chicken snail and goat meat so remember to please like guys subscribe thank you for coming to the end of this video <laughs> Yes, I don't just love cooking. I love to eat. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Till next time. But remember, please like. I think it's here. Subscribe. Till next time. Share. Yes, remember to share. Remember to comment down below. Just engage with me, guys. Bye.